I like the safe distance that Beodor and Kray are keeping here. In response to Jafon's new look. You know, broke out like a case of acne. Maybe with some skin cream and some uh, TLC, he can uh, fix it up and remove the cracks that have appeared in his skin. You know, look just as good as new. <laughs> Time to level up. We become an unarmed specialist for, which will help in our inevitable uh, duel, our rematch versus Handmaiden. Skills-wise, I think we got enough awareness. Uh, something that's missing in our lives is Demolitions and Persuade. It's not really missing in our lives. We could definitely, you know, use more repair, I think, than getting Persuade, but... What the hell, Jafon's got a silver tongue. We'll probably just keep awareness there for the rest of the game. Hey, it's good enough. We got a nice base of awareness to compensate for uh, Jafon's uh, negative wisdom modifier. At least become observant enough. He gets the force channel power. Uh, and the other thing I guess he'll grab is improved energy resistance. Sure, why not? You could even use it in armor. Which at some point I might have Jafon flip to. Particularly, you know, for a, a situation where I know something rough's coming up. Where I could use the extra defense. You know, Jafon's defense uh, can be significantly increased by slapping on the Sith battle suit. And then, you know, popping in some modifications of the Sith battle suit. Defense of 29, pretty nice. It's not really that important for him to wear. Uh, because he has a massive pool of vitality. And individuals often don't engage him, you know, in combat. He's got meat shields. So not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and put on that apprentice robe. You know, it's nice to have that as an option in case, you know, I hit a speed bump. Uh, some comments I received uh, on last video. Uh, someone uh, asked, why don't I give this lightsaber to Kreia? And it's because it doesn't deal as much damage right now. As what she currently has equipped. Forgotten the name of the commenter who asked that. You know, 2 to 20 versus 8 to 17. I'd rather take the 8 to 17, but once we get to a workbench, we can probably fix up that lightsaber for Kreia. Since Javon's not gonna be using it, what the hell. Also had introspective tinkerer who following along with Tayama's vein uh, wrote uh, you know a rather like nuanced comment about uh, Jafon's condition and situation uh, which I encourage you if you're interested at all into like theories of how Jafon has become this way you know to uh, go into the comments of last video and read that if you missed it uh, it's not the you know, like, first time it's been suggested but it's expansion of the idea that uh, Jafon's immense pain from what occurred during the Mandalorian Wars and his intense desire to forget created like this persona of who he actually always wanted to be instead of following in the footsteps of the Jedi Order and you know, you know he wanted to be a compulsive gambler and indulge himself in hedonism and also John Gallup uh, inform me what a holocron was. I'm not surprised. I'm not mad. <laughs> uh, it happens. Not a big deal. Let's move on. I hadn't, you know, I was going to play this game with just however Jafon responded to things, and I toyed with the idea of just keeping him, like, neutral. You know, the idea that he's ultimately serving himself more than any of these paths. Like, he's not particularly... He's more committed to himself, you know, than any creed. You know, the creed of self. The creed of Jafon. But, you know, the GM prepared some new art assets to show off. And uh, has also mentioned that at level 15, if you're committed enough to a path, uh, you could take a prestige class by talking to Kreia. <laughs> And Jafon's player may be compelled by that. We'll see. I'm not sure. Anyway, we had some fighting to get to. I'm sure there's combat and trouble and danger to be had. Let's go purge them. This is deadly Ligreg. We'll be the judge of how deadly that is. 
We stunned it, actually. Another commenter noted that uh, while they hadn't played this series, uh, they noted that their series, the series was the first one they had seen of someone pursuing blasters, and it uh, turned out to be pretty effective, and I'd say that I am enjoying this as well. I think that you'll miss out on some of the, like, this game obviously, like, caters more to force powers or using lightsaber combat, but uh, just through the fact that you can install, like, all these upgrades in your equipment. You know, I think we can manage to accomplish things with these blasters, and, you know, I'm kind of interested to see how this whole blaster game holds up. Was there anything of value here, or was it just, like, a few experience points from taking care of this crud? Looks like just a few experience points. Alright. No big deal. Yeah, nothing. Oh well. Looking for possible combat so I can buff up. Hi. No, don't try to talk to him. You know, we deal a pretty good amount of damage, and we're not in harm's way. And even if Jafon does get in harm's way, well, I mean, he, he's got a lot of hit points. Which is pretty nice. Which affords the luxury of wearing this. Anyway, let's go back. I may have missed some crud in my pursuit of combat. Doesn't look like anything of value. Looks nice here, I guess. Thanks, Kraya, for joining the class. Stuck door. It looks like there's a mine on the other side. Let's see if we can get around, like, the, the past little... I don't know module. Alright, we got some Ligrex in here. Ligrex, whatever Grex. One thing worth noting is that these buffs I'm casting on myself are going to be harder for me to use if I stay committed on this path of darkness. We're gonna call us more force points. I guess Jafon can tank this. What the hell? Even with the lower defense from using Rapid Shot, not that big of a deal. These guys would have to do a lot of damage to get through over 200 vitality points. Got a locked door over here. Got a bunch of protocol droids. We're also caught on nothing. And don't feel good. Hey. Thanks. Some droid parts. We can reactivate these protocol droids. Also grab that modular plating. That's locked. Oh, then through we get a Gamorrean War Axe, an advanced med pack. Gamorrean War Axe, huh? Tell me a story about a Gamorrean War Axe. 2 to 20 damage, it's not upgradable. Oh well. We do have a workbench here, though, which we can use to upgrade this lightsaber. Got a Violet Crystal, it's what we have. Power Crystal. Bound to Jafon Milano, power reflects that. Uh, but if Kreia's gonna be using this, probably shouldn't put Jafon Milano's crystal in it. Ah, uh, I don't really know what to install in it. I, you know, <laughs> it's, it's not like really a run for this. I can just slap some things in it though. Uh, give it a next door crystal for a double crit range. 
and plus one attack. We've got uh, plus one constitution and some sonic damage. I don't have an energy. I don't have energy cells or emitter, a lens emitter or energy cell. I can make them, but do I care enough to use my components on doing that when I don't really intend to use this on Jafon, but instead Kreia? And I'm gonna say not right now. Just not really interested. That takes us up to three to twenty-one damage instead of eight to seventeen. You know what? What the hell? Gotta have some fun in life, right? We'll take these upgrades out of the blade, even if she's worse at this. I don't want to do too much of this stuff on camera. We've... <laughs> For reasons that have already been made apparent during this series, just she'll be a bit worse. But she'll have a larger maximum range of damage. I don't think that averages out in her favor with the lightsaber, but I don't recall off the top of my head. I'd have to use one of my dice websites effectively. This computer panel, panel uh, access work log, pending work logs. Uh huh. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. We already read through that. Local camera control. Droid bay entrance. Some halls. Power relay station. Bunch of Ligrex in there. I don't see why I'd overload the terminal, though. Perhaps Jafon will know more about that later. Doesn't know why he'd want to destroy that. Also doesn't know why he'd want to repair a bunch of protocol droids. Doesn't really sound like a worthwhile expenditure of his time, you know? This door is irrelevant. Just move on. Okay, we do have some opposition, though. I wonder if the planet will get upset by seeing Kreo heal the lightsaber instead of Jafon. You know, because they're very... You no, know, they have strong opinions on this whole Jedi thing. I guess we'll find out. There's a lot of opposition up there. Some deadly ones here. But we're gunning through them pretty nicely. Out of curiosity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Combat-wise, their defense is 23. I think Freya would look better with a green lightsaber. I don't know why that suddenly came to mind, or why I decided to care at that moment, but <laughs> it came to mind. <laughs> Let's wait for the combat to end. Da -da. What's in here? Obviously got some power that's on the fritz. And another computer panel. Reddits and a security tunneler. What are we looking at here with our skill checks against these? Pretty strong. Components, repair kit. What's this computer panel all about? We could fix it. Let's go. 
Not entirely sure why we would. It only costs us a part. What the hell? Let's fix it. We could overload it. <laughs> because we're using Beodur that it calls zero spikes. Now, work log. Data corruption. System commands. Disconnected from children. Local camera control. We can't do anything over it other than, um, like, it? overload it. But we got some experience points for it. So I guess that's neat. I wonder if I run back to the previous terminal, since I can now access the mainframe, whether that'd do anything for me. I'm curious enough to check that out. This isn't really pertinent to why Jafon is here, but he's proven that he has the ability to distract himself by doing a bunch of other things. You know, he doesn't mind doing, like, some simple tasks in exchange for money and profit. That was redundant. If you guys don't mind doing simple tasks in exchange for profit, there we go. Alright. Sure, whatever. Just thought I'd check. Let's jog back now. Main computer panel, you got like a droid bay here with a workbench, garden, over here is apparently the Jedi Archive. That sounds like it might have some interesting information. Let's go ahead and resolve this leg wreck. Resolve it. Let us end this. Yes, let us end this. Jafon mostly hitting the ground there. There we go. Now we're looking on experience. Well, those leg wrecks have done a decent job of, uh, getting us a few points. Hi. Disciple's a character that can be in your party instead of a handmaiden. But you'd have to be female main character. Jafon blinks. You trapped in here as well? He stretches. Who are you? I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic. Although I'm certain my contemporaries would judge me more a historian than scientist. All right. What are you doing here? Like you, I was looking for some trace of the Jedi. I had heard mention that one of the Jedi Masters had gone there, but I found no trace of them. That's not the only reason. The other reason was the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. And once I arrived, I felt it was necessary to stay, to protect what was left. Left? Much had been taken from the Enclave, both by raiders and others. I wish to preserve what I could. You mean like the, the salvagers? Many artifacts were taken from the Enclave, but these thefts, they had to have been done by someone who knew the Enclave well. I suspect the Jedi themselves took the holocrons and records, but I do not know why. Holocrons? Someone has been taking holocrons from sites across the galaxy. It's almost as if someone does not want their knowledge used to find the Jedi. The situation on Dantooine is echoed in other places in the galaxy. Raiders, smugglers, all seek to plunder what remains of the Jedi. And even the Sith. More so than the Jedi themselves, I fear the loss of their history. Why? Much has been forgotten in recent wars, and I fear that greater troubles shall stem from that loss of knowledge in the future. The destruction of the Academy on Osus near the Kron Drift in the Sith War. The teachings of Master Arka. The adventures of Jolie Bindo on the Rimward missions. All of these things are in danger of being lost forever. What else would you like to know? Uh... Do you know what happened to the Jedi? No. 
It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they Did have. you say exile? It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way. Especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is something else at work. Something that we cannot see. Then again, perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. His teeth bother me in a way I can't describe. Uh... Yeah, sure, whatever. Jafan will indulge him. Why do you think people hate the Jedi? It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life, insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy can recognize the difference between the Sith and the Jedi. To them, they are both Jedi, with different philosophies. Do you hate the Jedi? Hate? No. I do not hate them. They only raise questions without answers. Jedi are not supposed to be like the rest of us. They are supposed to see a higher purpose in all things. And they are supposed to train students responsibly and well, so mistakes of the past are not repeated. Yet all I saw was ignorance and arrogance, and what those seeds created in the Republic. It is difficult to follow the Jedi Code when so few others have, but you know this. Excuse me? Many Jedi defy the Order during the Mandalorian Wars, and it paved the way for the Jedi Civil War. Do you blame the Jedi who turned, or the Council? There is no blame. All must accept. But, at its core, one must wonder if it was the failure of the Jedi teachings, or the teachers themselves. Many of the Jedi Council trained Exar Kun, Ulik, Revan, and Malak. How could they not see the danger they posed? And if they could not, perhaps there was some essential part of their teachings that was flawed. Something beyond the Jedi Code that they were missing. Do you know who trained Revan? Revan had many masters. Zar, Dorak, Master K before K left for the wars. Towards the end of his training, he sought out many to learn techniques. It is said that he returned to his first master at the end of his training, in order to learn how he might best leave the Order. I'll be going now. Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? To get some answers. What answers do you seek? It has been my experience that Jedi rarely answer such questions, or instead indulge in half-truths. I need to know why they sentenced me to exile. Exiled you? It is strange they would sentence you and not speak honestly of your crime. They claim that it was because I went to the Mandalorian Wars, but something has emerged that has changed my mind. It is not the Jedi way to lie. Well, no, that is not true. There are times when truth is concealed if they think a greater good can be achieved. But when such things are done, it is always done with the intention that the person they withheld truth from cannot be trusted with that knowledge. That it will bring harm upon themselves and others. <laughs> lying is lying, even from a certain point of view. I don't think Jafon cares about that. However, Jafon is willing to indulge this disciple guy. Uh, if he changes his mind, he can just shoot Disciple, right? <laughs> what the hell? Just his random historian hanging out in this room? Like, seems like he can take care of himself? Yeah, sure, whatever. And he might know something. They exiled me because of some reason other than the Mandalorian Wars. And... I think it had to do with my loss of connection to the Force. Perhaps there was some greater danger in you knowing the reason than in the reason itself. Strange. 
Mysterious are the ways of the Jedi. Sometimes they see things the rest of us do not. Other times, such sight brings arrogance and a fall. I will return to Kunda now and await the next transport. You may find me there if you have more questions. So be it. Pretty much all we're going to see here from the side. Three dead mercenaries lay here, accompanied by signs of combat. Each of the mercenaries bear evidence that they were killed by a lightsaber. And it's probably not Disciple who did it. Checking the bodies of the mercenaries. Reveals Azkul's orders, two frag grenades, credits, and a targeting visor. This data pad contains orders from Azkul, the leader of the mercenaries of Dantooine. Brook has wandered into the Enclave alone. You will take a full squad and capture the Jedi alive. Bring him to our nook in the Kinrath Caves to await transport to Nar Shaddaa. He will fetch a fine bounty. Option 1. Vruk escaped these. Option 2. There were more than three mercenaries who went to capture this guy, and they succeeded. So, Vruk is in hold of the mercenaries and in the Kinrath Caves that we have spent so much time in already. Maybe this was a recent event that occurred, but yet... I mean, Jafon just didn't happen to see them. Like, they, they kind of sort of just like avoided each other through the various thoroughfares. I mean, it's technically possible. <laughs> So be it. And that's it for the bodies. We can admire the statue there. I don't think there's anything else of value in this particular room. And I also am pretty sure that the sublevel is symmetrical. Or, you know, roughly so. So in order to, for us to get back to the courtyard, we'll just take the other way. I suppose I could also throw down a save of the game, just in case. Heavens forbid. We haven't suffered any tragic failure yet, but... You know, it could happen. I wouldn't want to have to replay this entire thing. Great. Any more? Yes. All right, you just standing there is not helping. You. I am liking how often the stun effect is triggering. It's pretty nice. There may have been another enemy back there. It seemed like the cursor moved a bit. Gotta use my bus though while I still can. Good work out there. Part of the solution. Alright. We're slowing down now. Alright, good. You found a will in the Salvager. The will states that all of his possessions are to be left to the other dead Salvager you found. Dorala will no doubt be interested in getting her hand on the Salvager's bodies and the will. You can tamper with the will so that all the Salvager's possessions go to you. Duh. Tamper with the will. 
This data pad has the will of the de of dead salvager. It is badly misspelled. It used to indicate that if he died, his possessions would go to the other salvager that ventured into the sublevels with him. Now it says that his possessions should go to you. Yep. We sliced it. I mean, yeah, of course we did. Also, I just, for whatever reason, remembered here that we have a force channel form. Now, I don't know if there's, like, a spot where we can check out our forms. Here we go. Involves standard meditation techniques that all Jedi learn through their training. Uh, we can regenerate force points quicker, uh, we deal more damage with them, and we have higher saves versus force powers. We might as well switch into the force channel form. It'll help us out. We gained it whenever we leveled up to the start of this episode. And I just remembered it, so there you go. Things happen, right? It looks like there's at least one leg wreck there on the other side, which means that I want you folks to be stationary. I hear you. Take on. Jafan can handle this. Interesting. Especially with all these good stuns we're getting off. What's their will save look like? I guess I can't really tell, huh? No, they have a base of 10. The DC is 18. Oh, 37 damage. Brutal. Brutal. That's a deadly one, which means... I'll go ahead and buff myself accordingly. Uh, you too. Stationary. Yeah, I might as well just switched on solo mode. That way you don't decide to walk or meander at any moment. Don't need that happening. You know, it's a pity, but I gotta make sure that they don't direct themselves into the mines. Thankfully, Jafon's a capable enough combatant that he can resolve that stuff without their help. Thankfully, he's also strong enough at demolitions to uh, recover these. Despite the extra DC. What does the feedback log say about... Yeah, it's still a check of 30. And we have an operating demolition skill of 37. Well, not 37, 17, plus the 20. Because we get to take 20 on it. We're in a non-combat situation. We're not that damn far from leveling up again. 5,000 more experience points, a bit less than that. Uh, access work log... Alright. Prior work logs, return to main. We can open the storage room door. The door is non-responsive. Local camera control. We'll cycle through. See no reason to overload this terminal? Again, so... Leave it alone. And the door is locked. Perhaps we could get it in if we overload the terminal. We might come back here later at some point. Yeah? What is it? Let's go. What is it? That's the best way I can think of of opening that to overload the terminal. I guess there doesn't seem to be any Let's other go. value with that terminal than its positioning here. Like, it doesn't control any drones or any sort of, like, power thing. So why not overload it? Five seconds? A 
What the hell's going on there? Jafon. Well, Kraya. It's on you. <laughs> Kraya just wanted to feel alive. Jafon shooting for whatever crazy reason. Distracted me from moving further away. Oh well. Kinda not my problem. It's kind of funny that she... That that happened for whatever particular reason. It's character building. Infiltrator gloves, you say? You mean the ones that add plus two to dexterity? The ones that I spent like, what, 1500 credits on back in... Back in Kunda? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 10 to 22 with a plus 15 modifier. 6 to 18 with a plus 16 modifier. No. And even if I brought Handmaiden along, I'm pretty sure she would benefit more from the Gamorian gauntlets. Oh well. We'll have an extra pair for yes. whatever reason. Datapad head technician, another riot buster, and a force mask. Work pad of Durgar Chester, the late head technician of the Jedi Enclave. It's been a couple weeks and no one has come for me. I can only assume the Enclave was destroyed topside and now I'm buried alive in here. I've tried using the equipment in the storage room to hack, force, weld, or blow that flaming security door open, but nothing I've tried works, and now I'm running out of food. Which means that there undoubtedly would have been more supplies in here for us if he hadn't just squandered them all beforehand. Oh well. Force Mask, I believe, is something we saw on sale uh, back on Tilo Citadel Station. Yeah. Reduces Charisma and Wisdom, uh, but it increases your will save. And uh, Force Resist. And then Inertial Inhibitor there. Uh, plus one Dex bonus and a Defense bonus. Actually, what do you have whipped? The Exchange Shadowcaster, huh? I got this cardio regulator on my character for some reason. Oh well. Uh, might as well give him more dexterity. I don't know why I had that equipped. It's easy, I feel like, in this game to accidentally equip something you didn't intend to. I mean, that is nice, but we might as well equip that inertial inhibitor. No, you're wearing one. That would be where it went. So now we have two. That's cool. Yeah, it's neat. I like the idea of Jafon having extra saves. So we'll keep that Kreia. Yes. Let's go ahead and piece your body back together for me. If you would be so kind. And you took a strong hit on the chin there that took out all of your vitality points, your considerable pool of them. Oh, hey. The journal was found near the gnawed clean skeleton of the Salvager. I made it farther to the Enclave than into the Salvager. Uh, yeah. Leave Dantooine rich. Well, this has been a rather lengthy episode. I'd like to at least get to the end of this place, though. Why am I even bothering to throw that down? Two damage. Oh, man. All six. You have that work out for you. Come along with the group, everyone. Freya, please. You're on Jedi support now, which means you're supposed to be using aggressive behavior. Keep up.
console's not working, obviously. Got other bank of consoles here that are non-operational. Any Lagrex over here? No, but there's a mine. We'll go ahead and recover that. Thank you kindly. Alright, it's been mostly looted in here. There's a few treasures for us, I'm sure. Nice to be able to resolve all these things with Jufan without having to swap to, uh, have, say, Beoder do it. Or even pull out another character completely. Laker X, are we good? Looks like we good. We just got a garden area to explore, then we're out of here. I guess I can throw down another save. Maybe the maybe the garden is full of slaughter. Looks like Beodur is, uh... Alright, get back in here. Freya, please, get back in here. Well, that looks like the guy who was a jerk to us. I dimly recall there being a fight whenever you tried to leave this place. But I didn't dimly recall it until I saw those pop up. So did I really recall it? <sighs> yes, turn it on. Actually, that's a bad idea to turn on and not tell you guys to be stationary. Thank you. Hold on over there. I'll be with you in a moment. Javon will get some justice against that jerk after all. Anything of value in here? Is it all just decoration? Understandably, uh, this place has already been thoroughly scooped out or, you know, looted and pilfered by uh, all the salvagers that have come before us. All the numerous folks who have been interested in Jedi. Trying to make a buck. Both and Droid Disruptor. Amazing, these foot lockers weren't just like hauled out, right? Like, even if they couldn't pick the lock, just like grabbing it, maybe they're all rooted to the ground, right? You couldn't even like melt them off. These salvagers don't probably have access to things like thermal detonators. Yeah, let's reunite with the team. I'll cast this in advance because it'll last long enough. I expect a combat situation to occur from this. I guess I could throw down the other things as well. Jafon sees them lurking there. He knows what's up. He's no fool. Braved the perils of the sublevel, yes. Many story for now, not only I don't even care. Your death so, won't be. This is your threat. Is t and now, Jedi, we shall fight. 
Like, Jafon does not even care. Like, he has tolerated this dude's dialogue. You know, he throws back the bullshit line. Actually, Jafon probably doesn't even remember the dumb line. Griffith doesn't remember the dumb line. Jafon's player may not remember the dumb line, even though Jafon might very well have. It was insolent, that's what it was. Screw it, I'm not backing away. Get stunned, nerd. Yep, you understand the ways of the Jedi and the rich bounty it all entails and all the great loot and fortune. Jafon's like, just fight. I don't care. Flex had the armor and a Jedi robe. Ooh. Jedi robe regenerates force points. Typically wear plain or unassuming garments. This here, look pretty damn nice. Can't wear it. <laughs> Matter of fact, this Padawan robe is not as good as this Jedi robe, and certainly, uh, Kray, I could use some uh, force point regeneration. <laughs> She's graduated. She's no longer a Padawan now, everyone. <laughs> Calm down. Well, we can all feel good about ourselves. Happy days. Like, the GM wants to, like, break into the burst in a dialogue, and Jafon's like, spare it. Roll for initiative. I'm glad for his flavor. Jafon doesn't care. Jafon's gonna start shooting. Alright. So it came to that. Anyway, that takes care of this episode. Uh, we have a will to turn in, possibly to Zeron. Garavik is no longer exists. We have to head back to the Kinroth Caves. We, uh, did not find... this. Ah. Uh, oh well. Talk to you all later.